Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now without further ado, on to the reading. Libra Hi Libra, thanks for joining me for the September um, thing here. What is it called? <laughs> wow. It's a tarot reading and the animal totem card. And uh, by the way, I use the Hanson Roberts Tarot. People always ask that. I forget to announce it sometimes. Hanson Roberts Tarot, and then we're going to follow up with the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards, which is my own deck that I created. Okay, get right into it. And by the way, happy birthday for all of you uh, Libras who are late September Libras. Happy birthday. Uh, if your birthday is coming up, then this is the time. This is the powerful time of the year for you to do your manifestations. Forget about January 1st. It's practically irrelevant, okay? Uh, it's all about your solar return, your birthday every year. And, you know, also, every year for you guys would be the, um, the autumnal equinox or whatever it is down, you know, the uh, cardinal ingress. In other words, when the sun goes into Libra. Because that's a powerful turning point. It's a change of seasons. And because the sun is moving into Libra, that's a powerful new beginning for you every year, as well as your birthday, your solar return. So this year, that happens on the 23rd of September. So that's a great day for you to really get with, uh, get rolling with what you want to do for the upcoming year. Set your intentions, set your goals, uh, you know, whatever you want to do to mark that. But that's a good day to really get that together here. Okay. The other thing that's happening uh, during this month, I got more than two cards, but I'm going to put them all out here. The other thing that is happening during this month is we're into the eclipses. So not only do we have the autumnal, well, the cardinal ingress, which is the autumnal equinox and it's the spring equinox in the southern hemisphere, um, but we have the two eclipses. We're going to have a new moon eclipse in Virgo on the 13th and then a full moon eclipse in Aries on the 27th. Okay, I just need a quick drink of water. Well, you know, some things are really rocking for you guys. I mean, you've got two tens, and the good tens, too. Tens are always the most. So Ten of Pentacles is the most money. Ten of Cups is the most love. This is a card of love and marriage. This is known as the marriage card. So some of you might be getting married or deciding to get married. Or maybe get engaged around your birthday or something. You have the wish card here with the Ten of Pentacles. So that is, uh, you know, wishes coming true regarding some big money thing. Um, and you have the Six of Cups here. So I think some of you are going to get back together with somebody. Because you have the Ten of Cups here and then lovers in reverse. So that's like we're happy, we're in love, and then, oh, we're not. We're upset, we're fighting, we're not getting along. But then the wish card comes with the Six of Cups. Six of Cups talks about, often talks about reconciling with somebody. Or, and it doesn't have to be your lover. It could be anybody that you've had a falling out with. But you want this. Wish card says this is something you want. It's not, um, you're not going to go reluctantly get dragged back into it, if that's the case. You want this. Yeah. But it also could be something having to do with, A, your childhood, or children in general, if you have children of your own. There could be some wish coming true regarding that. I mean, it looks like you're coming into some money here. Ten of Pentacles. You know, a lot of you are going to be coming into some money. And so maybe it's like, oh, I'm coming into some money, now I can set up a college fund for my kids. It could be something like that. Or it could be deeper, you know. Um, there's been some problems here. There's the High Priestess in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So these are 
anybody in reverse is always somebody that you have issues with, okay? Uh, now, queen could be a queen, but I mean, could be woman, could be man, whoever. Uh, but earth, probably. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Also could be like, this could be, we're going to be in earth. We're going to be in Virgo for, um, you know, the first three weeks or so of the month until the 23rd, that date I just mentioned when we go into the Libra. So... This could be, you know, issues are arising during those first couple of weeks, and then all of a sudden things change. You know, um, I I don't know. Maybe that full moon eclipse might be something for you. If we're looking at, like, timing, because I was looking, uh, the full moon eclipse in Aries, and this is a fire sign over here. Seems like this fire sign, all of a sudden things start happening. And it could be an actual person. I think that probably both of these are actual people. But this Knight of Rods, this is somebody who's going to make things happen. They're a, a man of action. Again, could be male, female, whoever. But they're a person of action. And then with the Eight of Rods right next to it, that even enhances that energy even more. Because Eight of Rods is like, things are moving, things are happening. We're, we're on a roll, it's going. Uh, things are happening quickly. Page of Cups is there too. Somebody could be having a baby. Because sometimes I'll use Page of Cups as a... Um, Card of a spirit of a child that's around, you know, wanting to be born. Or it could be a spirit of a child who's passed as well. But more often I feel like this is a spirit of a child who's wanting to incarnate. And these, this has children on it, this has children on it. So again, some of you may be having children or having a family or somebody you know maybe. That could be a big part of it. And there's this spirit communication. This spirit communication card could also be too that... Um, you know, you're just, you're on. You're really, you're psychic. You're really in the zone psychically and stuff like that. High Priestess in Reverse, I right away hooked it up with this one because that's the Ruthless Woman and it's somebody that you have problems with too. But, you know, the High Priestess Upright is also a psychic card. So I want to say that your psychic stuff's going to be really on. You need to trust it. You need to listen to it. And it may have been, maybe there was this person and you did have a bad feeling about them. And you did, you know, something about, something was telling you, no, 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 and maybe you didn't listen. But it's, it doesn't really matter now because this is all so positive. you got, again, the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You cannot get better than that. The Ten is the most. Just like the Ten of Swords is the most pain and suffering, the Ten of Cups is the most love, the most joy, the most happiness. Ten of Pentacles is the most money. Sometimes the Ten of Pentacles can be an inheritance because it shows all the generations of the family there, too. It's the grandfather, the parents, and the child, and the dog. So um, it can be like that, some, or something that's handed down through generations. It, sometimes it's property and, and inheritance like that, but maybe it's a um, like a recipe or something, or something that's been handed down through the family that you can, because I'm kind of feeling like it's sort of like this, for some of you it's going to be like this specialized kind of thing. Like maybe a recipe, or maybe, you know, my family's always been great embroiderers, or, you know, so it's like something that's a skill or a recipe, like something that's been handed down through the family, and that maybe you somehow can turn it into a profit. Because you're so good at it. Because it's the generations of stuff there, and it's part of it. You know, the judgment is here, and that says that you've paid a karmic debt. You're free. And it points right at the lovers in reverse, So, and death in reverse. So some of you may not work it out. Some of you may end, end a relationship, but maybe get in another relationship right away, too. Because there's endings of suffering in relationships, and then there's all this love card stuff, too. So some of you may have been putting off a divorce for a long time. Maybe you've met somebody new and you're going to just make it final. I met somebody new, I'm finalizing this divorce. Um, some of you um, were on the brink of it and maybe you're going to pull, turn it around. could be turning it around too. Some of you may get divorced and take up with your high school sweetheart again. You know, this could be, the somebody from the past could be a completely different person altogether, you know. The reason I say that is because when this shows up, it's like this karmic cycle has ended and it points to lovers in reverse. So it's like enough of the suffering already. We've had enough. And death in reverse often is, well, not often, it does mean something should have ended a long time ago. That you've been hanging on to something that should have died already. No, it's usually not a person, it's a situation. And it's surrounding all this love stuff here. 
I mean, maybe it's the forgiveness card, too. Maybe you're holding on to something bad that happened years ago, and it's like, hey, I hate to say it like this, but it's just so crude, but I, I just heard shit or get off the pot. Um, so it's like, are you going to be with them or are you not? You know? If you're going to be with them, then you got to let this go. That could be what this is. You're going to forgive them or not, you know? Um, then there's this King of Pentacles and the Three of Rods, too. So... Uh, so maybe even before we get to Libra, because King of Pentacles and your ship's coming in, this is tied into this money stuff here. Um, there's some big money events that could be happening for a lot of you guys, or a big boost in income. Or maybe this, in some cases, this is your partner too, and they're getting this big boost, therefore it helps you as well. You know, The King of Pentacles um, is probably Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or again, occurring in the time of Earth, which we're going to be in for the first three weeks. Um, he, but he's the money man, you know, he's the money man. They all, the medical people hold the coin, they hold the money in their hand, and they're industrious. That bull is standing out behind me on him, so maybe he's a Taurus. Or maybe this could even have been something that started in the time of Taurus, and therefore it's just now finally coming to fruition. But the Three of Rods is a great card, it's your ships are coming in. And this is your wish card, and this, these aren't surprises. This is stuff you wanted. Your wish is coming true. You want this. You know what it is. Uh, and three of rods, your ships are coming. He's standing there waiting for him. It's no surprise that these ships have shown up. He's there waiting for him. You know, so um, it's like you've done the work. You're heading in this direction. You're going to get rewards. There were some stumbling blocks. There was this one female, or more male, but I think even it's totally reinforced that it probably was a female because the... Um, High Priestess was there, you know. Even though normally I don't like to do the gender thing on these readings. But in this case, too, we have the Queen and the King of Pentacles. You know, so we have both, you know. This would be the female, this would be the male. So I think that they kind of held you back. They kind of mis may have misled you. Or tried to pull some slick, you know, slick moves or something on you. And um, now it's all coming around full circle. Because this is a card of completion, too. You know, this is a card of completion. Uh, completing a karmic cycle. And freedom to graduate onto the next level. You know, everybody's waving them on like, oh, you did it. They're not like saying, oh, no. You know, they, they, they died, I'm sad. They're like, hey. And actually on other cards, like in the uh, right of weight, it's like supposed to be you in, a, in all your incarnations. And then and this is in this carnation. They have them stepping out of the grave and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry about that phone. I'm actually going to take it off the hook because we're almost done. And I'm going to just stick it under there. <laughs> That's one way of stopping it from uh, ringing. Uh, okay, so, um, yeah. So it's a it's an ending of a cycle. It is, um, you know, graduation. It into happiness and fulfillment tens everywhere so that's really cool okay so we're going to go ahead and do the um animal totem card next um i want to i'll be right back don't go away because the animal totem card is coming up next i just got a couple things i'm going to tell you about and we'll be right back okay, i want to take a second just to tell you about some new things i've got coming up i've got this uh, new reading that i do the soul's journey reading and it's uh, not a predictive astrology chart, but it is a really cool reading. I don't think anybody's doing anything quite like it. Um, I put, uh, you do your chart, and I look at a lot of your karmic astrology and past lives and what you're doing now. And also I've launched a new uh, shop on Redbubble, which is primarily a t-shirt shop, but I'm going to get into doing some prints and everything. But the Tapestry of Life mandala that are available, the astrology mandalas and t-shirts or mugs or whatever, and I'm also putting up there all my stuff that I did years ago for etching on jewelry, these designs. Uh, it's called the Words and Music, B-Note Creations. And it's how that music notes are assigned to um, letters of the alphabet. And beyond A through G, it goes. there's a way to do it beyond that. It was developed by, I believe, Bach. So I've done all these designs, and they're really cool. And I like they could be a cool t-shirt, or it's a great conversation starter, because people say, what's that? And you can explain how it's the words and music. Uh, the bags, I think, are great for kids for their orchestra stuff, you know, and 
um, or the journals would be great for a lyricist or a songwriter. Or the t-shirts are really cool. And as I said, it's a great conversation starter. And as always, you can pick up my book, Tarot in the Modern World, if you're learning to read tarot. It's an easy to understand book that I wrote, and it's a great resource to have. Okay, now back to your animal totem. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the animal totem card for Libra for September 2015. Rabbit. Mm, rabbit's good. You know, the rabbit's on this card, too. The Queen of Pentacles has a rabbit on her card, too. So the rabbit's in here twice. And a dog, too. But anyways, let's read it. Sensitive, artistic, clever, nimble. Outsmarting adversaries by staying one step ahead. Taking colossal leaps and sprinting into the future. That's all this is talking about. Well, now that thing's going to make that noise, I'm going to have to do that. Uh, so whoever it was gave up and hung up. Taking colossal leaps and sprinting into the future. Heightened libido and procreation. Well, you know, you've got all these romance cards here, too. So maybe you guys are just going to be getting busy like rabbits, you know? <laughs> Because uh, it's certainly in the air. You know, the love is certainly in the air for you guys. It's showing up all over the all over the place. Um, again, it's funny that Rabbit showed up twice. And um, so that's interesting. But taking colossal leaps forward. And it does seem to be like that's what's really happening now, you know. And eclipses can do that. Eclipses are very powerful energy. And they absolutely can propel you, you know, further into the future. And you can make, you know, you can... Uh, go by leaps and bounds, you know, leaps and bounds, things can move forward by leaps and bounds during, uh, you know, when the rabbit energy is uh, present. I just thought of the year of the rabbit, too. I don't know what the uh, the Chinese astrology is going to be, but maybe some of you are born in the year of rabbit, or maybe the year of the rabbit just came in somehow with me, and I'm not even sure what year we're in on the Chinese astrology. I don't follow it that closely, um, but that could have some pertinence to some of you. Okay. All right. Sorry about the phone thing, but to unplug it, I have to crawl, move my whole couch and crawl under it. It's really difficult to do. <laughs> so hopefully it didn't disturb you too much. I want to thank you all for um, donating. I've been getting more donations and they're very much appreciated. And if you don't want to donate, maybe you could pick up a t-shirt or a bag or something for yourself or a gift for someone else. Buy yourself a birthday present <laughs> because it all goes into the fund that keeps these videos free, you know, and keeps me doing the free videos, which I do love doing. Thank you for liking, sharing, donating, commenting with all my videos, Google Plusing, everything that you guys do to help make my channel a success that it has been. And I, I appreciate it all so much. Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate. Have a great September. Happy birthday and I'll talk to you soon.